hello everyone i hope you guys are well thank you so much for tuning in if you're new to my channel my name is jasmine i've recently moved to ghana and i'm sharing my experiences here on the channel go ahead and subscribe by clicking that red button give this video a thumbs up and turn on your notification bell so you're you don't miss another upload from me it really helps me out a lot and it helps me to keep uploading and sharing information with you guys so in this video guys i just wanted to talk to you guys about the reasons why a lot of people only reminisce about the possibility of living in ghana but never end up following through these are from my own experiences and exactly the fears that i felt before i finally went ahead and made that decision to come to ghana so yeah i hope you guys enjoy the first thing that i would mention is you're probably worried about what others might think of you this is probably the worst of them all unfortunately we're all a little inclined to be slightly bothered about what other people think of us although some people allow it to cripple them others are able to pursue their dreams regardless and they and over time these opinions become less and less relevant so long as you're pursuing your dreams and you're doing things according to your own plan and your own desires it's not easy to forget about what people think but i think a lot of the time you can let us stop you from pursuing a lot of things that you might want to do people might be worried about what people might think in the sense that they might think that oh this is a dumb idea this is not such a great idea and you know people might be worried that if it doesn't work out then these people might have things to say but guess what these people will have things to say regardless whether you come here and it works out or you don't come here they would always have something to say so you need to make that decision and decide on what is important to you the other thing is you're probably super comfortable where you are and you don't really want to do anything different i mean let's face it in the western world there's guaranteed income guaranteed light well guaranteed income if you have a job i guess <laughs> guaranteed light guaranteed running water guaranteed internet 24 7 even if you're living hand to mouth a lot of the time you know you're kind of doing okay because you're guaranteed a place to stay and you know food to eat and all that stuff so it's easy to get out of that comfort zone but nothing special ever happens there you know you might have a deeper calling to do something more but just because you're comfortable you may not pursue it that little voice that tells you to go and do something more will never leave you alone so it's up to you to decide that you know within 50 years time will you be happy where you are or would you rather have done that big thing that you keep putting off and when i say all this i say this really empathically because this is exactly the things that i felt so there's no judgment here but i'm just wanting you guys to become a little aware of these things the other thing is you may not like to take risks so there's a saying that goes no risk no reward it is a risk to leave everything you have the life you've built everything you've designed for yourself in a different country to explore an unknown territory but you know it is what it is if you want to do something different then you should expect that different things are going to happen and i think this is especially hard for people that have children because obviously they're not only planning for themselves they're planning for their whole family as well so it makes it a little bit harder but at the same time you need to decide whether this risk is worth taking or you rather stay where you are so you can live comfortably until whenever obviously there's a lot that you can learn through the process if you decide to pursue your goals even if it doesn't end up exactly where you want it to be the fact that you've been courageous and you've learned through the process that's the most important part so it's the whole experience of doing something new that's the important part the next thing is which is the most important thing is you haven't clearly identified your reasons for wanting to be in ghana this trumps all the other barriers that might be stopping you to come if the reason why you want to move is strong enough a lot of the time it's enough to keep you going regardless of whatever barriers you you've whatever bar barriers you've thought about you need to think about why do you actually want to come to ghana what is the reason why you're thinking about moving to ghana think about it write it down 
put together a clear vision just so you know exactly where you want to be this way every time that things get a little hard or you have these thoughts that kind of tell you not to pursue what you want to pursue you can go back to think about why you want to do what you want to do And the final part is you may be afraid that it might not work out. This is normal. You are doing something different. You're doing something you've never done before. There's no guarantees. You have to decide if it's worth pursuing. But obviously, it might not turn out how you want it to turn out. What I did in these circumstances that helped me was writing down all my fears and all the things that I think could happen should I come here. Because a lot of the time it sounds worse in your head than it does once you put it on paper. Because once you can see it, you can actually imagine it happening and then you can decide, oh, it's actually not too bad. I can pursue it. So yeah, guys those are the things that may be stopping you from coming to ghana if you can relate to any of these things make sure you leave it in the comment section below i would love to know guys during this lockdown period in ghana i've just been home um, i didn't stay at my house because it just gets boring because it's just me so i came to spend time with family and it's going so so well we've just been doing super super chill things but people are not too stressed here about the virus as much although our numbers are going a little higher people are also recovering so people don't seem too stressed about it um and we don't pay too much attention to the news well i can only speak for myself i don't pay too much attention to the news so i'm not too stressed about it at the moment so guys i hope you guys are keeping safe and taking care of yourselves just as i am and my family are take care guys um, i'm really grateful for all of you do subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already follow your bliss now life is short follow your bliss now nipa your day Follow your bliss, na die pesi bia ye, and follow your bliss, na dey ne mada. Take care, guys. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.